This again is, can you believe it? This concept of death and what happens after we die is, you know, kind of a, a tough one. And everybody wants to find a solution and an answer to what happened to my relative. Uh, are, are they watching over me? Um, where, where are they? And uh, shall we see them again? So that took him out. Take us now to the New Testament and explain this kingdom of death or kingdom uh, that Paul explains uh, in uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15. Dr. Kamal. Thank you, Dr. Joseph. Pastor, again, thank you. By the grace of God, we know. By the grace of God, we live. And by the grace of God, we uh, proclaim his, his word. Now, death. I've given you the definition of death. And the definition of death is that it is music. <laughs> it is the opposite. It is the opposite of the joy that Christ created. Okay. Now he said, "You shall surely die." And it was actuated by the signature. Remember the signature, actuated death. It wasn't there before, but it became death. Became, and you will see what Paul is talking about. Death becomes this entity, this reality, and I call it the kingdom of death. Death is a kingdom by itself hmm. with incredible authority. Hmm. It has authority okay, to destroy life on earth. Anything hmm. that lives dies. Hmm. It was actuated by the signature of Adam. Hmm. Okay? And he comes and Christ comes and he is not happy. The kingdom of God is not happy. He takes the joy of life away from man first. And then the other thing he does is that he takes away life itself. Hmm. That which he created was life. And in declaring that curse he declared to the woman and to the man, he takes life away from where it should be, where he intended it to be. So he creates a kingdom. What do I mean by a kingdom? There is, I have about five kingdoms. I see five kingdoms. There's a kingdom of the father. And the kingdom of the father gives authority to the kingdom of the son. The kingdom of the sun creates the kingdom of darkness. The angels and all that, okay, the angelic beings, that kingdom is a kingdom by itself. It has, uh, as you can tell in the book of Job chapter one, if you read, and I'd like you to read it, there is a, Satan has a kingdom and he has his own angels. And then within the kingdom of God, there are also angels. So there is this division of the kingdom of darkness with the, the, the four dominions and authorities and powers. Mm -hmm. All right. All those are kingdoms created and they exist mm -hmm. and they have their own responsibilities and duties. Kingdom of the father. All right. Brings forth the kingdom of the son, gives the son the authority to create the kingdom. He creates a spiritual kingdom of the angelic being and the light within the angelic life. OK. And then he also comes. He creates the kingdom. What I, I call it the universal kingdom, the universal kingdom is a kingdom that we see, that we experience, is the, uh, the stars, the galaxies, okay? Mm -hmm. All those billions of galaxies, they exist by, the, they have their own, it's a kingdom. Mm -hmm. We don't control galaxies. Mm -hmm. we, we, we do not manage them. Mm -hmm. They're independent. They do what they want within the restrictions of the sun mm -hmm. who created them. So they have their own authority. They have, I call it a kingdom, it's a kingdom. And then it includes also our galaxy, called it the, the Milky Way galaxy, and, and our solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, you know what I mean? Uranus, those the, the planetary within the Milky Way galaxy. And then the Earth, you know, the, the Earth and, and all the planets, they go around the sun. We don't control it. Even NASA, the scientists, do you know, they haven't, the farthest they have gone is Mars. Do you know how far it is to go to the other planets? It's true, they had this, uh, uh, this, uh, this great uh, 
instruments, very small little tiny, tiny things out there. Uh, and those things are out there. They haven't gone far. We have not gone anywhere given the immensity of that which is the kingdom. It is free. Do you control the earth? No. The sunrise? No. The sunset? No. I mean, do you control the leaves? No. The, 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 I heard this scientist say that the reason, somebody say, hey, does Mars, if we put water on Mars, mm. if we just pour water on the ground of Mars, he said, would life grow? He said, no. He said, the soil on Mars is different from the soil on Earth. The, the soil on Earth has got organisms. All right, mm -hmm. I'm talking about a kingdom. So this kingdom includes the kingdom of the Earth itself within the kingdom of the Earth. Mm -hmm. The listen, think about the um, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes. Uh, think about the wind, the growing of plants, the growth of a, of a, of a person within the womb of a woman. That's a kingdom by itself. It, we don't control it. I mean, you hear people talk about environment. We have to change the environment. We have no, listen, we have no idea how those things work. It is independent. The, the best thing the government can do is when there is hurricane. When I was in Florida, teaching at Florida University there, there used to be hurricanes. And those hurricanes come, and guess what happens? They told us, run. The best thing the government did was tell us to run. Even their own ships. They Get took out them out of there. <laughs> because it's a kingdom, OK? Now I want you to know. And then there is a kingdom of men. The kingdom of men is the one which regulates men. You, you and I, we pay taxes, right? The police, they stop us. Yeah? They give us, listen, they give us the right to build on our own land. Mm -hmm. and, and in some countries, especially the United States, you can't even put a fence without asking the county or the city council to give you permission. And, and if you don't pay taxes, uh, they, they come and they get the money from you. Now, even in, in Kenya, they, they do the same. They are, we, they are policemen. On the road, I'm driving very nicely. This cast car, right? It's mm -hmm. cursed. Uh, and then they stop me. I'm not gonna run away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's a kingdom of men. And then there is a kingdom of death. This kingdom of death is a consequence of Christ saying, "You shall surely die." That kingdom is independent. Mm -hmm. It doesn't ask anybody apart from He who gave life. Mm -hmm. Death is only subject to God the Father. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Death is only subject to God the Father. And that's why the Father said to the Son, okay, the consequence of these people disobeying is that they shall surely die and you have cursed them. Mm -hmm. The only way you are going to rescue them is if you yourself mm -hmm. partake of that curse. Mm -hmm. Say that again. You yourself, I am not going to, I gave my breath. And they became a living being. You told me to come. I told you to create. You created. I came. Me and the spirit, we came. And we gave birth. We gave them the breath. Okay? Again, I want to use an example. When the man was formed, God breathed into man life. That breath is eternal because God is eternal. Let me say that again. Matter was cast. So it is not eternal. It dies. But the breath that is given to the man comes from God. And since God is eternal, that breath that is given to an individual does not die. That is why, this is very important, that is why when somebody dies, when death takes the body, because death can only take the body, Cursed is a ground because of you. All right? It's cursed. The ground is cursed. And since we come from the ground, that is what is cursed. But life comes from God the Father. Therefore, that breath is eternal. So when a person dies, the kingdom of death takes the, bre the, the body because it has no authority to take the life that is given the breath. Very important. I know this is deep. I want you to, to, to understand what's going on. Death is 
takes over, has been given authority to kill plants, to kill animals, dogs, cats, grass is dead. You, the body, die. But it was not given the authority, it can't. Death cannot take over that which is breath of God. So this is what happens then. Since death is the authority, it is a kingdom by itself. Christ is told by the Father, in order for them to rescue them, you must also experience that death. And then that's why it says, and the Father raised him from the dead because he's a giver of life. So death is there. The mistake, this is the other lie of the contract. Mm -hmm. You hear people say all the time, and this is very dangerous. God has taken him. What? That's what they say. Mm -hmm. For the God has taken him. You mm -hmm. don't. No, 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 no. Death has taken him. <laughs> this is important. God loved him more than we loved him. People say, oh, God loved him more than we loved him. No, 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 no. It is Satan. Satan wants humanity to blame God for death so that they can disqualify God as a, as a God of grace and of mercy. Because if he does that, then many people blame God. Why did God take my father? Why did God take my mother? Why did God take my son? Why did God allow that to happen? No, 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 no. Let's go back to the Genesis curse. Cursed is a ground. You were told not to. You did. So God cursed the ground. He said, you shall surely die. Death is created as a consequence of sin. And it is death that takes people. It is death that kills plants. The kingdom. It is that kingdom that was created as a consequence of the signature. Mm. Are you with me? Mm. Okay, now, what is the remedy then? Paul calls it death, calls death a kingdom. And he's, let me read this. I want you to listen to this. He says, and this, the, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. Mm. I want you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Read the whole chapter because we don't have time to do all that. Mm -hmm. The last enemy to be defeated is death. Mm -hmm. Why is he calling him an enemy? Is death a person? Death is a kingdom. It is the last kingdom that will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Now, how did death first become destroyed? Christ dies on the cross mm -hmm. so that he can defeat death by rising again from the dead. Mm -hmm. He gets life. He dies. Christ mm -hmm. dies with a body, right? And the Father now raises him again from the dead. And what does that mean? He defeats the kingdom of death. Mm -hmm. Okay? And those who believe in him mm -hmm. also become part of that kingdom of the son which has defeated death. Now, remember, there is death, is a kingdom. It's independent. Do not, from now on, if you hear somebody say, oh, God did this, no. Are you are telling me that God is sitting at his kingdom on the throne, directing his angels? to take away a father, a son, to cause accidents on the road. Are you telling me that God is there saying, I want that man to have diabetes and to be killed by diabetes. I want that woman uh, to have cancer. I want him to, uh, to die out of cancer. Are you telling me? Because if you say that, then you're saying God is going around with a sword. You know what I mean? He has sent all his angels and they are out there killing people. <laughs> God, no, 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 no. It's not there. God who is doing that. It is the kingdom of death which is killing people. Mm -hmm. And that is why Christ had to defeat that kingdom. Mm -hmm. In fact, the book of Corinthians chapter 15 says very clearly that he must reign. I want you to read chapter 15, 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. He must reign until all his enemies have mm -hmm. been defeated. Who are his enemies? 
that Satan who came in the beginning and took away the joy of creation from man and took away his creation from him, right? And now it forces people to kill each other, Russians, mm. Ukrainians, people mm. killing each other. Are you with me? The last king, he is going to fight them. Christ is fighting them. He's destroying them. Mm. And then he says, Paul says, and the last enemy to be, to be defeated will be death. And then he says, oh, death. What does he say? Read that. Where or oh, death is your victory? Uh -huh. Where or oh, death is your sting? Yes. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. Ah, you see? He says he relates death to sin. Back to Genesis. Are you with me? He goes back to Genesis. He says mm -hmm. death came because of sin. It is death that is killing people. It is death. Remember, it is not God. It is not Satan who is mm -hmm. killing people. No. It is death, because if you read the book of Job, Satan is told, do not take his life. Why? Because life, when somebody dies now, a few minutes, just two minutes, more minutes. So what happens? What, 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 does death, what does death do? Well, this is what death does. Death takes the body, okay, and destroyed it. It's mm -hmm. done. That's That's asleep. Asleep. Listen, no, the body is done. Mm -hmm. No, the body is done. Mm -hmm. What sleeps is the breath of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very important. He forms man. He breathes into man his breath. And since God is eternal, remember I said God is eternal, therefore the breath is what? Eternal. The breath is eternal. That is why every single person born on earth by a woman must be raised from the dead. Why? Because once they are conceived, they have the breath of God. And that breath that is given to them is eternal. And that breath cannot exist eternally without the body. So the body, this body, this stuff, this material, uses this matter, this dies. What sleeps? That breath is put to sleep. It is the one which is sleeping. Mm -hmm. The body is not sleeping. It decays. Mm -hmm. You're not getting the same body. There's a mistake that people say, uh, make. They think that that body is the one which is going right. No, 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 no. no. If, why, if that is true, then why does the Revelation says, and the, the sea shall give up its dead. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? A and there is nothing there. This body is done. Mm -hmm. What it's going to do is this. It is going to give up its the identity. Let me say that again. The identity. The identity that was uh, Peter. Okay? The same way Peter was. The looking of Peter. The identity of Peter that was created in the image of God. That identity, because that one's, that's what is matter. Okay? Created in the image of God. That will appear. And then guess what will happen? The breath of God that goes, it goes back to God. Mm. That breath that is given to an individual, okay, to man, the body dies. It is that breath now, that identity that is Peter, that identity will come up alive. And Paul makes a case. He says, when you plant a seed, let me read it. Oh, go ahead. Very important. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? Uh -huh. This is Paul writing in, Cor in, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, verses 35. With what kind of body will they come? How foolish. What you saw does not come to life unless it dies. Mm. When you saw, you do not plant the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. But God gives it a body as he has determined. And to each kind of seed, he gives it its own body. Not all flesh is the same. People have one kind of flesh. Animals have another. Birds have another. And fish another. There are also heavenly bodies, and there are earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly bodies is one kind, and the splendor of the earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another. And stars differ from the star in splendor. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead? The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. 
It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body that there is also a spiritual body. So it is risen. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. A life-giving spirit. See what I mean? So this is what's going on. The body, the body that you have, this body that we have, cast is a ground because of you, you return to the ground. Everything returns to the ground, whether it's an animal, whether it is a plant, whether it is seeds, they return to the ground. Then Paul says that it is God who gives them the body. This is a new one. This one is given by God, the Father, because he's the one who has life now. Christ has defeated everything. Now the Father reserves the right from the Father, from the Son, to give things life, because he's the one who gave him life. Remember, the breath came from the Father, not from the Son. So it is him only who has now the authority. He takes back the authority and uses that authority says, you know what? My son, because you have been obedient to me and you have died, you have submitted to death, you have done what I told you to do, die for these people who you believe in you so that they can raise again. I, I will, because of that, use my authority now to bring them back to life for you on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So that when somebody dies, mm -hmm. very important statement here. Yeah. When you sleep tonight, or tomorrow. When you go to sleep, when you wake up, what is the first thing you do? What is the first thing you do? You ask yourself, what time is it? <laughs> you don't know what time it is. That's why you look at the you look at the clock. You say, Oh man, man, I sleep, I slept longer than I even when you sleep only five minutes or ten minutes, you don't know how long you have slept until you look at your clock. Those people who have died from Adam, when they wake up, all right, when they are brought to life, they don't even know how long they have been sleeping. It's not relevant. They're done because this body, which, uh, let me use this word. This is, this is difficult. Let me go deep. Uh, this body is the one which identifies time. But this body now is dead. It has no reference of time. In the same way, when you sleep, you wake up and you don't know how long. They will not know whether they have been sleeping for 200 years, 100 years, 1,000 years, 3,000. It doesn't mean anything. They will wake up the same way you wake up and you say, what time is it? By that time, you're not going to ask for time. This is what's going to happen. You wake up, you'll be like, in the presence of the Lord. And those who do not know Christ, those who have refused to sign a new contract, because it's a new contract. Christ is saying, that contract now makes you die. Yeah. I got a new contract. Yeah. This is what every pastor does. This is what I'm trying to do in my life. This is what I do. I walk around with this contract to every human being. And I say, you know what? This contract has Satan, Adam, and Eve. Uh, please, I beg people, please. Yes. That one is that one. Listen, this one is dead. This one, this one will take you to eternal damnation. Mm -hmm. Please sign this new one. This one has Christ and you. That's the two of you seeing it. Because you know what? This one, when you sign this one, this is what Christ does. He takes that uh, contract that you have signed out with him and he gives it to the Father. And the Father will use that mm -hmm. contract to qualify you. To eternal life. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah. gracious me. You say that contract, it is in the hands of God. Right. That's why I say that the book of life was open because it has all the contracts of people who have come to know Christ as Savior and Lord. Those who do not sign this contract, this is what's going to happen. They remain with the old contract. Mm. With Satan. So therefore, guess what happens? They are taken together with Satan because they have signed that contract and they are brought to life because life belongs to God. It is the breath. He brings everybody to life because the breath must have the body. The body must rise again. 
Okay, this breath cannot exist without the body. Mm. All right, that's mm. another for another story, mm. another day. Now, so this contract has not been changed. Mm. You gotta change this contract because that contract is gonna take you to the devil. It's mm. given to the devil. He said, "Okay, well, listen, Satan, this one refused to sign the new contract. Is all yours to eternal damnation, mm. my brother and sister." Do you see how important it is for people to sign this contract? We give our lives to tell people to sign this contract. Mm -hmm. You must, must tell your brothers and sisters, your family and your friends, you must give them this new contract. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Some people say, oh, I can't sign that contract. I, I don't know how to do it. This is why we support pastors. Mm -hmm. we, we say, you know what? I can't do it. But listen, I, I want you to, I'm going to support you to, to help others sign this contract. I don't want them to go to hell. I, I don't, I want them, please sign this new contract. It, it has only two names. Mm -hmm. Your name, the new one. Then Christ. Then the name of you. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, who yeah. said, let there be and there was. Yeah. And he will say at the end, mm -hmm. it is. Wow. wow, amazing. Now, before you close your scripture. Yes. There's this phrase that a lot of evolutionists and the atheists use that we are created the same. There's no difference between a man and an animal. We mm -hmm. are all the same things. And now Paul, I see Paul writing here okay, go ahead. that uh, uh, he says uh, in verse 37. Oh, or uh, when, yeah, uh, he says, yeah, when you sow, you do not plant the body that will be. Yes. It's just a seed, a husk of wheat or of something else. Yes. But God gives it a body as he determined. Yes. And to each kind of seed, he gives it its own body. Yes. Not all flesh is the same. Mm. People have one kind of flesh. Mm -hmm. Animals have another. Yes. Birds have another. Yes. And fish have another. Expound yes. a little bit here because there's a lot of oh, data out there yes. that's saying that Men and animals are all the same. No, no, no. What, what, is, what, what is Paul saying? Okay, now go back to Genesis. Again, I like to go back to Genesis because everything that is going to happen in the future comes from the beginning. That's why Christ says, I am the Alpha and Omega. That's yeah. what it means. I am the one who started all things in the beginning, and I'm the one who's going to bring it to the end. And I'm going to give this to the Father who must be all in all. Now, in the beginning, Remember, he says, let there be fish. They became, fish became. Let there be animals. They came over. Uh, plants, yes, they came. The fish. But when it came to man, he said, let us make man in our own image. He took the initiative. Again, this is important. Remember, we come from the dust of the ground. The body of man. Mm. is formed from the ground. The animal body does not come from the ground. Mm. Let me say that again. This is deep. For the animals, he said, let there be. And they just, boom, became. Mm. For the fish, he said, let the fish, let, let the uh, the sea be filled with fish. And they just came to, the, to, to exist. Mm. The birds of the air, let them feel. And they came. The plants, he said, let the, let the plants become, and they became. Are you with me? All right? Now, for us, human beings, he went to the ground that was created, and he took a chunk and formed us. man, and then he breathes into man again, and he becomes a living So That's what gives us our eternal domain. That's what gives us life. Yeah. But for the birds... Is a different body. It wasn't formed the same way as man was formed. Therefore, when these people say that the meat of a man and the meat of a cow is the same, they don't know what they're talking about. They need to they need to read the Bible. Yeah. Read scripture. Scripture interprets scripture. It guides us. We are not animals. You are not a cow. You're not a gazelle. And the body is not, not the same a bird. And Paul says in the book of Corinthians, that's why I told you, please take your time, take about an hour, let's take long, read the whole book of First Corinthians chapter 15. He says every body, the body of the fish and the animals and the plants, they're all different. Mm -hmm. 
and you understand. Mm. Finally, he says that Christ is fighting this battle and when he has finished defeating all of his enemies, including death, which, oh, which is, which is the, the anger of God unto creation. Death is the anger of God unto creation. It's the anger of God unto you and to me, to the woman, the pain, and the suffering, the misery. Oh, the, the knowing that even though I enjoy you know, eating this good food and drinks, I'm going to die. That yeah. is, listen, it's miserable to think about. Right, right. But at the end, he will defeat, he has defeated death. Yeah. And those who are in him will also live with him forever. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And you speak of the things that you know. I speak of what <laughs> I know. You speak of the things that you know based on the scriptures. Glory be to God. That was not hearsay. It was deeply founded in the scriptures and there is a biblical backing. It's not a theory. It's not uh, uh, a myth, but truth. Truth that is founded in the word of God. We've been looking at the subject of death and uh, we went to the foundations of uh, where death came from and uh, also the redemption of mankind at the end, whereby Christ buys us back to himself through his uh, death on the cross. We belong to God. So no wonder Paul says, oh, death, where is your victory? Where is your sting? Because that will be the last enemy to be defeated. This has been, can you believe it? Whereby we dig deep and uh, uh, go under the pressures of whatever, theological, you know, principles and philosophical uh, teachings and uh, just be founded on scripture. We go deep to get that truth out and expose it to all so they can learn from uh, the word. Again, don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to the channel to learn more about this subject of uh, death and other subjects uh, that we've uh, dealt with in the past and in the future. This is... Can you believe it? Have a great time until uh, we connect next time. Thank you so much.